Hello guys and welcome to my first Leo Legends gameplay commentary. And uh, today I'll be playing Chen in the jungle. Oh well, commentating when I have played Chen in the jungle. I used to think that he was sort of a underdog or something like that. But I actually think he's rather good and useful now when it comes to ganking and protecting his team and so on. He's a strong character overall. Anyway, there I'm getting mad at Vladimir and Katarina for not protecting me in jungle or scouting for enemies. I'll be fast forwarding these boring parts where nothing really happens. Anyway, here's some sexy camera action. I have no idea what I was thinking there. Anyway, uh, they help me get the wolves down enough and they uh, get away so I'll be getting all the XP that I need since well, junglers tend to get a tiny bit behind further into the game if you're doing bad with ganks and so on. I get a decent leash from Vladimir and Katarina. However, Shen doesn't have that great damage, so I'll, I can't really say off, up my smite to take the red buff easier later. I'll speed up this bit as well. So... The runes that I'm playing Shen with in jungle is attack speed red, movement speed quint, armor yellows and uh, resistance per level blues. You saw that Vladimir got first blooded over there. Rengar is sort of a bitch in this game right now, he's quite strong. But we tend to, or it looked like we redeemed ourselves with a double kill at bot lane. However Draven seem to got slain as well. You see Rengar there going in for a kill on Katarina, however I can't really do that much about it because I just leveled 4 at that second. And even though I would have flashed I probably wouldn't have saved Katarina anyway because Karthus would probably have gotten her. I made sure to get out there on the lane as well to not let any minions go to waste. I make sure to save up enough money before I recall to base again. Where I believe that I got a heart of gold. Since Philosopher's Stone isn't really that useful on Chen. Since he doesn't benefit from mana region. I was looking to try to gank here on bot lane while Rengo was there. But I realized that no point in stand and wait for anything to happen. I'll just lose tie gold and XP for not being in the jungle. Since we have Vlad on the top lane and Katarina on the mid lane, the blue buff will actually go to me, which isn't half bad actually. I'll be able to do my taunt more often, my ult more often and uh, anything really. Which is great! I actually think that blue buff is rather Beneficial on uh, energy users as well, such as Katarina and Akali. You see me going in here to try to gank Karthus while he tries to kill Katarina, but he flashes just in the right second for him to escape from my taunt. Oh, I get thirsty from the, all this talking. But overall, we seem to have a fairly even game over here. Uh, bot lane seems to be dominating though, with a double kill over there. And Katarina got a kill on Karthus in mid. Hopefully that ulted I, had, I did on him. That I did on Katarina to make Karthus flash helped her out a little bit. While she recalls I make sure to get a few last hits in mid and make sure that that minion XP comes handy. Wow, uh, Draven seems to be dominating quite a lot at bot lane, but this time I don't think Carter's will be able to escape. I make sure to go in there just so Carter Katarina will survive. Barely after that ultimate. She probably would have died if I wouldn't have died in there. Although I didn't mean to take that kill. Anyway, it's real important to keep farming and keep track of the jungle. Leona put a ward up there at their blue, so we could be able to take it quite easily. We go in for a gank here at bottom, and we focus Ezreal right away, even though Lulu was closer. 
uh, the AD carry is always much more, it's always much more worth to take the AD carry than the support. You barely benefit anything by taking the support. Because the other team's AD carry will be set back so much from missing that much creeps and XP and so on. So that benefits you a lot more. Anyway, getting another blue valve. I uh, think I save up quite a bit of money before I recall next time. I make sure to also cat Rina here. We probably couldn't have killed Rengar, but if I hadn't altered her there, Rengar probably would have killed Katarina, so... Hooray for anti-gank mechanics. I also think that I'll be taking red the whole game, because this isn't a very long game. Our Draven dominates quite enough with the gear he has. I don't think he'll be needing red buff. We take Dragon there. I save Smite to take him in the last second. And uh, Leona gets jumped by Rengar, but well, we punish him for it later. However, Karthus gets Leona with his ultimate, unfortunately. But when you take Dragon and Baron like that, make sure to save up your Smite uh, for the last second. For two reasons. In case their jungler would try to come up and smite the dragon, which I, th I think Rengo was about to do there. And uh, you'll get 25 extra gold there. I saved Vlad there in the last second, however, we're going to go up and try to take Sin Sao. I fail my taunt, however, and Vlad goes dead anyways. So that's sort of unfortunate. But Vladimir is the one one that has had a really tough time during this game. The bottom lane is fed as hell, so you'll probably do fairly well now. We go I go in here for another team fight to try to get the any carry. I get Ezreal caught in my taunt. He flashes away however and we chose to kill Karthus early and he just stands there in the middle of everything and yeah to completely smashes so over with his aoe damage and his ultimate so that was fairly poor of us i get a phage and wits end because i want to try to do more damage than being tanky this game you can eat that's the lovely thing about chen by the way you can build him in so many different ways uh, with the I was going for sort of like a frozen mallet with sand and then just regular tanking gear for the rest of it in this game. I fail a taunt there or fail or fail. Karthus flashes in the last se possible second again when I was, I was about to taunt him. So I don't know if it's slow, stupid or something or just really good. It's actually hard to guess. More enemies getting away from us, however, Rengar wasn't so lucky. Since I dives him to his death, not so clever, eh? And Karthus wastes his ultimate. Ezreal is here in a very poor position. I don't think that guy is too familiar with Ezreal. Since he's been feeding the whole game. Damn, your throat gets dry by talking this much. So anyway, we're doing pretty well. Pushing up the tower and going for the inhibitor. However, we tend to get a little bit too cocky. We get Karthus, but at the cost of Katarina. So, while they're dead and have to defend their base, we want to make sure to get the dragon. Or I want to. The other carries seem to have gone elsewhere. However, Leona gets there and helps me out with it. And I save Smite and use it again to get that extra 25 gold. And just in case anyone would come and smite the dragon in the last second. Leona and Draven are in trouble in middle. I use my ulti on Leona. Dive in there. Get two of them in my taunt. Draven kills them both. I believe that he follows up on the Lulu and gets him for the triple kill. Draven and Leona there are mates of mine, and we gone in, went into the game as a pre-mate, three people. 
And uh, that was basically it. They surrender now and we won the game. Uh, with ease. So that's how you play Chen. You get an amazing bot lane that carries you. Well, I hope you liked this video. This was my first League of Legends commentary gameplay thing video. I'll try to do it in another way as well, but leave a comment and say what you th thought about the video and uh, I'll try another commentary and do it in another way and we'll see. I'll also be having a contest video or something like that uh, coming up as well as I want to start a new gameplay video playthrough around Halloween. Perhaps even a horror game of your choice. But I'll make a video separate for that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Kisses.